my digital planner friends. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about what exactly are digital stickers. If you're new to digital planning and you're not exactly sure what the digital stickers are or how to use them, we're going to go over that in this video. If this is, sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video. And if you're new around here, my name is Brandy Reed with Three Nail Faith, where I create digital planners and digital stickers for Christian women. Let's talk about those stickers. Okay, so you may be new to digital planning. So you're wondering what exactly are digital planners and stickers, digital stickers. So basically, in a nutshell, it is the same as a regular planner, um, but it's digital. So you have just the one device. You don't have to be carrying around washi tape and stickers and um, the big planner and everything else. Everything is gonna be housed inside of your either iPad or Android, dev Android device. So you're gonna have to have obviously a, a device, an Apple Pencil, a stylus, and you're gonna have to have an annotation app, which is like either Good Notes, Note Shelf, Notability, Zoom Notes, any of those, whichever ones work with your device. And if you have a question which one works with your device, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. So this is a planner. This is a free planner that I have in my customer hub. I'm gonna leave the link down below so that you can receive this planner. And um, it's got plan a planner, it's got some stickers, um, some videos to help you with uh, learning how to use planners and things like that. So I'll leave that below, but here is what a planner is. So this is the cover of my planner. You can slide and these are links to be able to do things. Okay, so then you have, most planners have an index page. And this will, so instead of having um, like tabs on the side of your planner, which these digital planners do have that as well, but these are like tabs on the side of, extra tabs on the side of the planner. So like for my planner, I have a Christian based planner. This is a one month um, sample planner. I have uh, dated planners, undated planners, and I have this one month sample planner so that you can try it out. But in my planner, I have budget, meal, the month overview, view, habits, note section, sermon notes, prayer requests, favorite verse, soap, books of the Bible, book review, blank, line, dot, and square pages. And then these are extra, extra tabs that you can choose whatever you want to put in them. So if your pen, if this is good note six, so your um, link button is right here. So if it's not colored, you can use your links. So what that means is I can tap on month of overview and it's gonna take me to the month overview. If I tap on this home, it's gonna take me back to the index page. If I tap on any one of these numbers, one through 31, it's gonna take me to that daily page, okay? So that's how, how a planner functions. They're called links, they're called hyperlinks and you just tap on them and it will take you to the different places. So like this is the month page and all of these um, little note looking things here are the sermon notes. This column here is your Sunday week start. And this would be your Monday week start. So in other words, if I wanted to go to this particular week's sermon notes, I would tap that and it takes me to week one's sermon notes. Then I can go back to the home, or I'm sorry, back to the calendar. And that's how you move. So that's your meals, your budget, your habits, your month overview and your notes. Um, so yeah, so it functions through, um, hyperlinks. So you can get back and forth between your planner easily, but you need to make sure the main key is wherever your pen tool is, you have an on button and an off button. So right now the pen tool is off. So that makes my hyperlinks work. If it's pushed on where it's a color, that means my toolbar works. So if you see your toolbar, on whichever annotation app you're using. Again, this is GoodNotes 6. If you see this toolbar, that means your hyperlinks will not work. But if you do not see the toolbar, then your hyperlinks will work, okay? So that's how a planner works. And because it is, you need the Apple Pencil, or like I said, any um, stylus that you have and the annotation app, that means you can come in here and write whatever your um, to-dos are or whatever. So you're, you're able to write in it just like a paper planner. 
by able to by using either an apple pencil or a stylus for whichever you know device you are using so it's you can write with it with a pencil or you can write also write with it there's a text box you can tap it and then you can write and it will convert to a handwriting i don't like all right or a text font i don't like my handwriting so I choose to use the text box all the time, but you have like an eraser, you can erase things, um, you can tap on things, sorry, you can tap on things, move them around, you can move them around, like say, uh, okay, I have a test, but it's gonna be at 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna drop that over there. So many things you can do. The one thing that is so nice about using a digital planner is number one, you don't have the bulk or the paper waste, that was always my big thing. I didn't like, because <laughs> I'm the type that like everything in my planner. I mean everything. So I was making these huge planners and I was wasting so much paper every year. Well, with this, you're never wasting paper because it's all in your device. Um, and you're, depending on the size of your device, obviously is how big your planner is gonna be because you just have your device. You don't have to worry about, you know, is it an eight, eight by 10, a five by seven, is it going to be big enough for me to write? See, can it fit in my purse? Just depends on which device you have. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else about the planners. If you can have any questions, make sure you leave them below for me and I'm more than happy to help you. Okay, so then we also have sticker sets. And sticker sets are just like stickers for regular. You can use your lasso tool and you can lasso around it. So all I did was circle around it, tap it, hit copy, and then you hit paste. And that's the awesome thing about digital stickers too. You can make them as big as you want. As soon as you tap off, it will clear up. Takes a second. So you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want, you know? I mean, if you just want an itty bitty sticker. Um, you can layer as many stickers on top of each other that you want. I mean, like the only thing about good notes is I will say this, whatever you want on the bottom layer, you need to make sure you put first. So say you're wanting, um, like a, a flag or something, you and then some writing on top of that flag. You need to make sure you put the flag down first, then the writing. And then if you want a sticker on the, the maybe the corner, you need to put that last. Maybe I should show you something like that. Um, I don't think I have, let's see. This is the elements tool where you can, um, yeah, we'll just do this. Where you have, you can have your stickers set inside of, um, this is one of my purchase sets. Okay, so this is Cozy Christmas. All right, so let's say I wanted to have a flag for my to-do of what I was wanting to do. Let's go to the, photos to straighten that out. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and write, um, we're going to go back with test. Okay. I know it's not, you're not going to be able to see it though. So let's lasso it and hit color and white. And we're going to make that a little bit bigger just so you can see it really well. Okay, so we have test, but now I really want to have some sort of a sticker there too, because who doesn't like stickers, right? So let's put, maybe we're having a rough test and we're gonna have to say, pray for this test. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Now that all worked correctly. Now let's say we did this a little backwards. Say we started with, where did it go? I should have, yeah, let's color that to a different color so that we can see it, okay. So let's say we started with the test because that is what we started with. Nope. Okay, we started with the test and now we're thinking, oh, what if we put a flag on it? So we're gonna pull out one of the flags. We'll pull out that flag and we're gonna drop it right here because we want it you know, to be with the test. Well, guess what? Because we put the word first, you're not gonna see it. So again, remember, if you want to be able to see everything, you need to make sure that you layer your first layer, your second layer, and I did it again, and your third layer, if that makes sense. Man, I'm 
talking about extra stuff here. You're learning a bunch. <laughs> okay, so we have this sticker set, this free um, planner all in that customer hub. Just go ahead and join it, play with it. Um, Good Notes, I know, has a free version where you can have three notebooks for free, so you can try it out. Now, granted, they count, this would be one and this would be two, so be careful. Um, but you can look and see which other options you ha can get for whichever device you have. Um, so again, you're gonna need a device, a pencil, um, a planner, an annotation app, app, and maybe some stickers if you want. So I will leave those links in the comment section below, or sorry, the description below. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. And if you liked this video, if it was informative, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so that I can help you out with something else. And I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye for now.